Courage in Ender's Game, Rebecca Jenkins. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. This quote by Nelson Mandela shows that courage is, a, is the ability to overcome fear, not being fearless, which many book characters learn and grow from, much like Ender. In Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card, Ender is the most courageous character. Throughout the book, Ender is persistent, uses wit to excel at what he does, and is willing to do the right thing at the cost of himself. He uses, his tra- he uses these traits to prove himself and to survive during dark times. Ender throughout the book has proven that he is persistent for the benefit of himself and others, being able to survive the unjust environment of battle school to, s- to survive and bring his team to the top of the leaderboards. He is constantly being challenged and man- manipulated by IF commanders like Graf and Anderson, yet always finds a way to prevail and flourish into a stronger soldier and tactician. When Ender was excelling as the commander of Dragon Army, with a perfect winning streak, the IF decided to break the games, pushing Ender to his limits strategically and making him use his army in the best way possible. Even with improbable odds, Ender was able to fight two battles in one day, battle against two armies at once, and have stars in unfair position, all ending in him winning and furthering his reputation as the best commander since Mazer Rockham, a meritable war hero. After he won in a very unfair battle set up by Anderson, he commented, As long as you're cheating, Ender said to Anderson, why don't you train the other army to cheat intelligently? When Ender first was instituted in the Salamander army, he managed to persist through the constant insults being fired by Bonzo, even managing to kill him later in the book. He puts up with Bonzo in the most respectful way possible, even letting Bonzo keep his reputation and power, so long as he left Ender alone. Ender managed to find a new friend, Petra, who helped him train, even though Bonzo intended to keep Ender as far from the battlefield as possible. He was getting better with his aim and strategy behind Bonzo's back, hoping he would get traded so he could use his skills, due to Bonzo not letting him practice or battle with all that he knows. Throughout the entire Salamander army experience, Bonzo constantly taunted Ender and referenced how happy he would be when Ender was out of his sight. I intend to trade you as quickly as I can. I'll probably have to give up someone valuable along with you, but as small as you are, you are worse than useless. One of the constant issues Ender faced through his experience at the battle school is the end of the world, which is a computer-generated world filled with personally testing puzzles and challenges. Ender had to face many of these challenges and overcome all his fears in order to make it through the game. He had to face his idea that he may be like Peter, failing to overcome this fear many times, going as far as to stop him from continuing until Ender's sister, Valentine, sent a note that boosted Ender's spirit and allowed allowed him to persist through the challenge using his memory of his sister to prevail. He previously had to do many difficult things in the game to succeed, including actions he felt in, e- uneasy about, causing him to question battle school and the schools. And there always went back to these traumatic moments just for one chance to beat the level, no matter how emotionally painful it was for him. It was the one dangerous place left, and Ender, however often he vowed that he would not, always went back there, always killed the snake, always looked his brother in the face, and always, no matter what he did, died. As well as being persistent, Ender is also willing to sacrifice a piece of himself for the greater good. He constantly establishes the idea of winning all future fights by doing whatever it takes to win, going as far as killing both Bonzo and Stilson and breaking Bernard's arm. During fights, Ender is trying to think of a way to make it so there are no more fights and no more people getting hurt because of his or her actions. He kills Bonzo and Stilson without knowing until much later, but he had the intention of hurting both men very badly to prevent them from coming after Ender again. In the battle room, while Ender was training, a group came to try to stop the practice. Ender was able to hurt them all very badly, describing blood floating through the air in anti-gravity. He felt resentful after the fact and caused him emotional trauma that slowed his progress in order to save his students from getting hurt. During his fight with Stilson, the narrator comments on Ender's thought process that he keeps throughout the book. Ender, however, was trying to figure out a way to forestall vengeance to keep them from taking him in a pack tomorrow. I have to win this now and for all time, or I'll fight it every day and it'll get worse and worse. Ender, on the way to Eros with Graf, decided to make a very difficult call. He decides to kill the bugger so Valentine and his family can be happy. He decides to make the tough call of killing an entire species on his own, just so he can escape Graf's manipulation once and for all. I'll become the tool you want me to be, Ender said silently, but at least I won't be fooled in it. I'll do it because I choose to, not because you tricked me. Although Graf does manipulate Ender later in the book, Ender, in this moment, determines that he will sacrifice a part of himself 
his humanity for the greater good of the humankind. Ender was able to excel in battle school because of his thought process and clever ideas, even when he had an inexperienced army and odds stacked against him. He managed to make an army full of rookies turn into the most formidable army in battle school because of his creative ideas and acceptance of feedback from his soldiers, racking up a perfect record and becoming top of the leaderboard. At the end of the week, Dragon Army had fought seven battles in seven days. The score stood seven wins and zero losses. He also graduated early from battle school because of his expertise, aim, and ingenuity, even sketching, skipping pre-command to the surprise of many. He impressed many of the IF commands, commanders and was picked to be trained by the legend of a war hero, Mazer Rock, Rackham, which is a very high honor. Ender used his skills and quick thought process to win all the fights he was involved in. When Ender fought Stilson, he managed to use his wards to make his friends back off and institute a fairy fight. He caught Stilson off guard with a surprise punch that knocked him down and allowed Ender to win all future fights by beating and eventually killing him. Ender used the same thoughts to defeat Bonzo by lathering himself with soap in all the areas Bonzo would try to grab him, making himself more slippery and hard to get a hold on. He also used water from the shower to incapacitate Bonzo and eventually win. Ender is the most courageous character, but arguments could be made that Colonel Graf is the most courageous. Ender is the most courageous character because of his willingness to be on the front lines. Graf is simply pulling the strings from the background and never grows as a character like Ender does, mostly because of his lack of challenges and the need to, to persist at all times. Graf throughout the book acts like a static character. He undergoes no growth or real change in opinion or ideas and has no real personal challenges to overcome that better him as a character. Ender is courageous because he is dynamic, learning from his past challenges and overcoming new ones to become a better person with new views, friends, and ideas. He has to deal with all the manipulation that Graf is putting him through, which, put, which proves a challenge for Ender, but using what he learned from these friends, he was able to make it through. Graf does not have the same want to learn and grow as Ender does, so he will never be more courageous and hides for most of the book, away from all the attention, in order to meet his rudimentary needs. Ender, however, has the need to survive, get better at battle and strategy, and to make new friends that can help him along his journey, which is a leap of its own. Making short-term friends in a hard, harsh environment like battle school takes enough courage as is, but Ender finds a way to make long-lasting friends that help him through the armies, and even on arrows when Ender gets a team to work with. Although Graf could be argued as courageous, Ender is more courageous than Graf is, and shows it many times throughout the book by his willingness to do the improbable. Ender is the most courageous character in Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card because of his wit, persistence, and willingness to be sacrificial. He constantly does things he is not comfortable with to save others or better himself in the future. Ender thinks about ending all future fights at the cost of his humanity and decides to kill an entire race so he can escape manipulation and keep his family alive. He is also very persistent, facing the same challenges many times in order to succeed, no matter the trauma. Ender persisted through the challenges at the end of the world, Salamander Army, and the manipulation of battles posed towards both him and his friends, often ending in prevail because of his wit. Ender used wit throughout his many fights to overpower his enemy and gain an advantage. He uses his clever strategies to beat both Stilson and Bonzo, who overpowered him, who overpowered him physically and in numbers. Ender is the most courageous because of his calmness and bravery in the time of stress and need.